Hi everyone, so I'm here to open a package that um, is basically the only reason for this update and I'm super excited. So I've been wanting to like order so many things but I am trying to hold myself back from getting too much and so I have two books in here. One of them is a new release that I've been anticipating so hard and I literally bought it on release day because I was just like... I need this right this second and the other one is a book that I've been really wanting for ages and it felt like a book that I really need to own. <laughs> Let's just open this. So um, also <laughs> I was literally sitting here on my beanbag thinking you know what like oh my god I they sent me like you know a message where it was like a space within one hour when they should be delivering and We've like passed that time and we're like in the middle of that time and I was just like literally had the thought, oh my gosh, can they please arrive? <laughs> and the second I had that thought, the bell rang and I was just like, oh my god. The first book is, oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is the one that I've wanted that I've wanted for a thousand years and that is... The Mountain is You by Brianna Wiest. I love the title and I remember Chloe from Chloe Bunny slash Books of Chloe. She talked about it a while ago and the things that she said about it was just like, I need this book in my life. It's going to be just so powerful and meaningful and inspiring. And I definitely will be at least starting it in this video. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to want to, you know, just inhale the book or read it slowly, we'll see where it takes me, but I just, wow, this, yes. So this is like the <laughs> meaningful, inspiring shit, and the other one is very much just super fun. And so that is, oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> so that is The Good Girl by Nikki Sloan. I love this cover actually. I love it. So we have a beautiful um, indie matte paperback and this also kind of feels indie but I'm pretty sure it's not. I do not own nearly enough self-published books physically that I like wish I did. Um, I literally read, I would say, I literally just checked my stats for this year and self-published books are like over 30% of what I read, maybe even like 40%. And so obviously it is something I'm very passionate about as an indie author myself and as uh, someone who wants to write more books independently and whatever. Um, you know, that means a lot to me to support other indie authors, but at the same time, as a reader, I just love the indie romances and indie authors that I have read and that I know and all of that. And why is this, like, this is annoying the shit out of me. This series is, like, one of the, um, steamiest series I've ever read. They are definitely romances that are very heavy on the smut, but also feel still like they're, you know, like, emotionally... <laughs> There's like some emotional depth and the characters actually have like a strong connection and all of that shit. And this is the most recent book in the series. And I just also love the like pink cover and the sunglasses. First book in this series was like 3.5 stars for me. It was fun, it was nice, but it was like an, a really big age gap and I'm not really that into age gap romances. The, then I loved the second book and I think I didn't read the third book. <laughs> And I adored the fourth book, The Frat Boy. Oh my god. I... <laughs> that is, like, one of the hottest books I've ever read in my life. It is so fun. It is so good. The, like, emotional depth in that is so fucking amazing as well. Like, it is fucking amazing. And so after reading that, I was just like, I need this right this second. And I looked at, like, when it's coming out. And I was just like, oh my gosh, it's in a million years. I literally was just like... I finished reading this masterpiece today, very different from this, <laughs> and, you know, I finished that, like, a few hours ago, and I was like, okay, I need, 
I want to read more. So I was just like, you know what I want to read? I want to read this book. And I knew it was supposed to uh, arrive today. And so I was just like desperately waiting for it to arrive so that I could start this. And I haven't had this feeling in a long time. Like I kind of set this rule a little bit that, you know, I want to buy the books that I want to read immediately. And if I don't want to read it immediately, then I can like wait to buy it. But that does not, that's just not really been the case lately. This is supposed to be like bad boy, good girl, whatever, and <laughs> I'm not necessarily like specifically into that, but I am into this series. So I have a brownie here that I baked yesterday and uh, it went amazing. I Last time I tried was my first time ever baking alone and it didn't go that great. It was really dry and I love the very moist <laughs> brownies and so I tried again and guess what it was such an improvement I'm actually fucking obsessed with this shit I'm gonna link the recipe down below um I do there's basically this beautiful page that has three types of brownies depending on the level of um like how dry or not dry you want it <laughs> it's perfect it's amazing so i did the middle one and it is just divine it is fucking amazing and i'm so proud of myself and i'm really fucking happy so i'm reading collided by lauren asher i mentioned it i think in another vlog briefly and i was just like on a lauren asher kick and so i'm listening to this and it is really fun it actually also slightly has a good girl bad boy dynamic which saying that feels so cringe because I feel like it's actually not something that I read at all. And, like, it's kind of a an old-fashioned trope a little bit, you know. But I feel like, you know, it's decently well done in there. Um, but it is also, like, in the F1 world, sports romance shit. It's really just way too long. So I think I want a break from that for a second as we read this. And then I'm going to finish the audiobook. Because I am enjoying it. It is really fun. It is still, like, addicting and quick to read, but I got to a point where I'm just like, it's still taking too long. Cause like, it says that it's like 500 pages and uh, the audiobook should be almost like even longer than it is for that amount of pages, but it's still really long. So <laughs> we will be finishing that though. And um, I just, again, want to mood read so hard I, you know, if I jump from book to book, if I read five things at a time, if I read just the same genre, if I do, like, if I read of every genre on earth, like, I, no matter what I feel like doing, I want to challenge myself to do that in here. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna go eat my beautiful, beautiful brownie. And yeah, actually, last thing. <laughs> I want to get back into watching TV shows like hardcore and I also want to talk to you about it more. So this is just going to be a very indulgent vlog. I have been watching Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Love it. My sister told me to watch it. I wouldn't say I'm like a hardcore Star Trek fan or whatever. I did not watch the original TV show. And I don't know any, like, of the, like, super deep detailed things. I love the movies with Chris Pine. I don't know if, it, if that's um controversial or something <laughs> and i think i watched the star trek discovery for a while but that was i think like way too brutal for me or something i don't know now my sister told me about this and i really love the way the characters are in here and i love the spock in this like he is fucking amazing i don't know something about like you know i just before i was just always a you know kirk fan because like he's just my type you know the like charming um flirty vibes i don't know and so spock was just never like someone i was into because like i'm not into like analytical sciencey uh, things and so i just never felt connected to him in any way because i was just like well not in any way but it's just like not a character for me in any way but um um in here i don't know he feels more human and the i love the like like exploration of the complex emotions that he has that are not like normal human emotions but like the way he discovers that i don't know it's really like i, I just love that and um, all the other characters, like, I'm so here for it, and Kirk finally <laughs> made his fucking appearance, and so I'm on to season two, and I am having a great time. Speaking of, I have also decided I will rewatch The Vampire Diaries. I used to be a hardcore stan, it, like, made me survive, it helped me survive high school. 
rewatched it yet last year, but I basically started at like season three or something. And I back then it was just like, I literally don't remember anything. Like some things obviously are more vivid in my head, but like I've rewatched this show many times. It was just like years ago. And this time I was just like, I will go to the beginning. I am team Damon, <laughs> which is kind of like, it's kind of funny because like at this point in my life, uh, if I started it now, like, I don't think that would be the case, but I am, like, I'm very attracted to him, let's just say that, and, you know, in real life, obviously, like, absolutely never, but in the show, I just love him so much. So, I will be watching that as well. I'll go read, and I'll talk to you soon. So it's the next day. I still don't have makeup on and I'm still wearing the same shirt But I'm here for a little reading update and I'm also here to open a package So this is not a book, but I want to show it anyways cuz like <laughs> packages Getting anything delivered is just like one of the things that brings me the most joy in my life I always put a lot of thought into the things that I buy and so I actually just really want it every time I bought a hoodie on Vinted, which is something I've been obsessed with lately. I like knew it existed, but I didn't realize that like I could use it <laughs> until recently. And I have found so many wonderful things thanks to it. And I just love it. It's like, it's cheaper, it's better for the environment and like so many things and it's just wonderful. So, oh yeah. <laughs> So it is a pink. Ooh, the material is nice. Look at this color. Oh my gosh. Okay. The size looks good. The color is gorgeous. So it is like a hot pink with white, like a tie-dye situation. Okay. <laughs> uh, it is pretty comfy. It could be a little bit bigger to be honest, but it's so cute. I feel like it looks so nice on camera. Like, I just recently realized that I really love colors. Like, it needs to be specific. It needs to go with my vibe. But I want more nice colors in my life. And so I love this. I'm going to wear this all the time now. So, um, anyways. I have been reading The Good Girl. I wanted to wait for a little longer to update you. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Because I don't think my opinion is going to change. I got to page 102. And it is really fun. Like, honestly, I don't even really need to talk that much about it because, like, this is a book that, like, isn't that deep. And, and I feel like it's also a book that, like, there's a very high chance you're going to love it if you like the tropes, if you just like very steamy romances. And um, then I think, you know, if it's like what you're looking for, I think you're gonna have a great time. If you hate the tropes, if you don't like that, if you don't wanna read something like this, you're not gonna like it. We don't only have like the good girl, bad boy situation, <laughs> but it, it is like brother's best friend trope. Preston is Sydney's brother's best friend, and we also meet him before, and we meet the brother as well. That's that like who the previous book is about. We have that typical conflict of like, you know, the protective brother who does not want the bad boy to, you know, do anything with his sister. Honestly, <laughs> that trope, I hate. I, like, wouldn't say that I avoid it, but I'm always very, like, I'm hesitant about it. I definitely don't read books because of it. And I know that, I know people like it, but I'm just like, I have to ask. I have to ask. Um, I don't have a brother. I have an older sister who would never behave like this, but obviously it can be like the dynamic is different, but I just want to know if you have a, an older brother or just like any brother, <laughs> do you think, like does he ever take any part in your love life? Do you think he would get so overprotective that he'd get so angry that his best friend is dating you or something? Like I just need to know, does this actually happen? 
Because, like, I mean, most of my close friends don't have brothers either. And um, the ones that do, like, I've never heard anything like this. So it feels unrealistic. It's way too dramatic. It always pisses me off because I'm just like, it is none of your business. Like, what the hell, you know? So, yeah. And I did actually also pick up The Mountain Is You. So look at me reading the books that arrive immediately. Like, I am so proud of myself. So... Um, I got to page 48 and I am kind of feeling like I actually want to read it quite fast. Like I wanted to keep reading. It was really engaging and at the same time like meaningful and it like really resonated with me. And I feel like the writing style is simple and to the point, but it's just really working for me. But obviously it's not a book that I want to like fly through because I actually want to absorb what is written in there. <laughs> I do think I might pick up something else soon because like I am loving these but both is not necessarily like I just feel like I want another option today and the only other thing that I think I want to mention to you is I started watching Only Murders in the Building and I am happy to say I'm really enjoying it so far. I was very hesitant to go into the show for ages because I hate any kind of like murder mystery uh type stuff and i was just like you know the last thing i need is to have more things to be anxious about but <laughs> but I, my sister watches the show and she told me that like she thinks it's mainly just like a super fun comedy uh like more than anything and that like she thinks i would enjoy it and that it wouldn't like stress me out or whatever and so far it does feel like a really fun comedy and I love Selena Gomez. I was about to say that um, I don't know what um, the other book that I want to pick up could be. And, you know, uh, but this vlog is about me doing whatever feels right. And there's like multiple books that I'm excited about, but I just look next to me and I had this on my little table. And I've been wanting to reread it for like two months actively thinking about it. And it is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I took the book off my shelves. And, you know, I actually am currently reading, rereading uh, another book by Talia Hibbert, Work For It. Um, so maybe I should finish that first. Because I've been thinking a lot about like the concept in this book and how I kind of feel like I'm on that same wavelength where I just want to work on myself and my life and becoming happier and whatever and this book is like you know it does basically it's about Chloe if you don't if you don't know this book it's about Chloe Brown who um has like a near-death experience and she writes this list of like how to get a life <laughs> and she ends up getting help from her neighbor Red who basically you know is very sexy and charming and wonderful and so, you know, it's about this list and I love that concept. It is literally something that my book is about. And so like, I love that concept, love the book. So that is, you know, what a fucking combination, if you ask me. Like this is, like, this is iconic. I think this is iconic. Like also sums up just like my personality and my life, like in so many ways. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna shut up. This update has been once again way too long, but, um. I will talk to you soon. Hey everyone, so it is time for an update. I, I'm in bed, my, I also washed my hair, so that's why it's still wet. And I have a few updates. So um, it's been a rough few days and I have two days off now. And I am determined, <laughs> I'm determined to have the best time and get as much energy, comfort, happiness as I can in the next two days. Because it's going to be a rough few weeks after that. Um, tomorrow, I want to read a lot. And I should hopefully, please God, have the most fucking exciting package I have ever gotten. So, you will see that. Hopefully in the next clip. Um, I'm really hoping that uh, they're going to, like, wake me up in the morning. And <laughs> uh, I'll be able to open that to you.
I actually don't really have updates on the books that I have told you about. I have just not been fully in the right mood and also didn't really have time. Um, but I did start an audiobook and I got a book today that I have to tell you about. So I basically was working and I have an hour for lunch and I normally just like eat and then I go sit outside or whatever and just try to relax. And today I was just like, you know what, I'm going to check if they have a copy of The Long Game by Elena Armas. And the bookstore is like 15 minutes away and so I was a little bit stressed that, you know, I wouldn't really have time to like eat and I'd have to rush or whatever, but I made it and I have the book and I'm so excited. Basically, um, as you might know, um, Elena Armas wrote the Spanish love deception that like everyone was obsessed with. It went super viral, whatever. And I actually didn't fully, I didn't really love that one. I kind of, I like enjoyed it. I didn't hate it, but I wasn't obsessed with it. I thought it was way too long and I just like didn't have as great of a time as everyone else. And then the American Roommate Experiment, is that the name? I, everyone was like liking it a lot less or just, you know, whatever. And I loved it. Like, it is literally, like, one of my favorite romances. Like, <laughs> I absolutely adored it with my whole heart. And so while there is, like, a tiny little part of my uh, brain that's like, what if I don't love this one as much? I just am still super, super excited. I do think that is the next book we're going to be reading. I will keep reading the things that I started. I just, uh, I think I mentioned I wanted something like a little bit different to add into the mix. And so I think I want that to be this. So haven't started it yet. I was just watching YouTube, but I do think I might read a little bit before sleep. I don't remember, um, exactly what it's about, but, uh, I know I knew the information, but <laughs> it is gone. I do also have, um, this book that I don't know if I mentioned in this video, I am kind of lost. I've been working on a lot and um, editing and I don't know what's in which video, but um, I picked this up today. I was going to read it on my lunch break before I had that whole plan. And um, I do think I'll read this now after I read this, <laughs> but I still think I might read it in this video because like, I feel like right now I just really want like comfort reads and just something sweet that feels really safe. Um, and um, when it comes to The Good Girl, I do want to keep reading it and I am excited about it, but I'm not unfortunately loving it as much as The um, Frat Boy. Because I'm just, like, not fully invested in the characters just yet. And it feels, like, really intense in some ways. And, like, a, a tiny little bit cringy. <laughs> not in, like, uh, the worst way, but, like, the good girl, bad boy trope, whatever, is, like, going really far. And I'm just, like, I don't know if I'm fully here for this. But hopefully he's gonna get better. So yeah, but I did start the audiobook that I mentioned and an ebook today at work. So the audiobook is You Don't Have a Shot by Raquel Marie, and this is a YA contemporary. And I was just like trying to decide what audiobook I wanted, and I thought that it would be good to have something that's not an adult romance. <laughs> and so I started it, I got to like 30-ish percent, and I am enjoying it. I don't have that much to say right now. Um, I'm not like feeling super strong feeling so far, but it is fun. It is like a sports romance and it's rivals to lovers where the, it is sapphic as well. And the two main girls, basically something happened between them and they don't, uh, really like each other, but now they're like at this camp and it's like a soccer camp and they have to be on the same team. And so, um, it is fun. I do like them so far, but I feel like I don't know them well enough just yet to be excited about the romance completely. And the one thing that I feel like so far is a little bit of an issue is there's so much of the soccer, like so much, <laughs> you know, like a lot of, obviously it makes like, obviously makes sense, but, um, I'm just like, I don't particularly care about that part, which like, I don't, I don't want to complain about that and say that it's a bad thing because it's like literally a sports romance and like, 
it makes sense, <laughs> but I just need the other things to like, you know, I need there to be more focus on the other things and more development, but I'm sure we're going to get to that. So, and the other thing I forgot the title, even though I literally just checked it, it is a book by Laura Pavlov, which is an indie author that I've heard quite a lot of people talk about and I haven't read any of her books. This series is like small town romances and this is like the third book in the series or whatever, but it is like a nanny and single dad romance which I personally absolutely love. I know that some people hate it and I completely understand, but I feel like when it's done well, it is so sweet and just so fun. I love forced proximity. I love single parent romances. And so this, this is just amazing to me at least. Uh, <laughs> so far, I did read just a tiny bit. I do already feel excited to keep reading. So that's awesome. And, um, I do feel like they're going to have really nice chemistry. The only thing is, like, the writing is, like, a tiny bit cringy. It's going a little bit too far in some of the descriptions or, like, the dialogue or whatever. But I think, like, it's fine. I don't really care. I, it's not that bad, and I think it's going to get better. I'm going to show up now. And again, hopefully, <laughs> I will see you bright and early tomorrow with the most exciting package ever. I fucking got it. I... <laughs> Literally, I was just calling my mom, so it did not wake me up in the morning, but um, it's like 1.30 or something. I was calling my mom, telling her I need to go make lunch, whatever, and I was so scared. I got so scared today that this wouldn't arrive today because I thought I saw somewhere that it should be on Monday, and then I was like, hold on, I can't find it now, and the shipping updates seemed like it could be today, but it didn't say it clearly. I have it. And I just did my makeup the fastest I think I've, like, done my makeup in a while. So let's just open this. Who cares about, you know, you know what this is. I know what this is. And I, there's a high chance I'm gonna cry. It's been a rough, um, a little spark for your evening. That is so cute. It's been a rough few days. And... Oh my god! And I just, I really needed this. And I can't believe, I am so, so grateful to my past self for getting this thing. Because I was just like, you know, my, oh my god, like, it's so expensive and I never let myself buy shit like that. But I'm literally gonna cherish it forever. Like, my roommate, I was asking her for advice, like, should I buy it, whatever, you know, I was freaking out. And she was like, um, will you be happy to have it in 10 years? And I'm just like, I will forever be, like, cherishing these books on my shelves. It's me, like, one of my most prized possessions. So, obviously, it is worth it. So, let's just open this. Okay, so the one I see on top is... Wait, I'm not ready! Because, like, I actually know that... I've seen, obviously, the front cover. That is just so the prettiest shit I've ever seen in my life. But I actually haven't seen the back. I only, like, caught, like, a glimpse of one picture that showed the bag that actually has, like, a drawing on it and I was like oh my god I can't look at this I need to see it in person I'm gonna like uh I'm gonna <laughs> I'm like, wait I'm not like I, I I will pass out like I always open packages very dramatically because I actually just feel that joy and I just you know put it out but this is like gonna be one of the most intense ones so it is very carefully wrapped Shut the fuck up. So this is one of my favorite series of all time. You know what? I'm gonna get into that speech when we open this. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna look at the back. You're joking. You're- 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 you're, uh, you're fucking joking. That is like- oh my god. And it, it has a quote above that is- the only good thing this broken heart of mine can feel is love for you. <laughs> oh, I, oh my fucking lord. Are you shitting me? Are you fucking serious? I will pass out. Nothing could have prepared me for how beautiful these books actually are in person. Um, this is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Holy fuck. Okay, let's uncover that. <gasps> Wait, I wasn't- oh my god, are you- oh my god, are you kidding me? I knew that these special books always, or almost always, have, like, the end pages. But this is, like- oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. I forgot that's what it looked like. 
but hold on, hold on. I cannot. Oh my god, that is actually like the cutest shit on earth. So, shut up. There's a quote on the back as well. Just because something isn't perfect doesn't mean we need to throw it away. Bro, this just made my whole life. Like, I was really hoping September would be better than August. It's better than August. Um, I actually have not read this last book yet. I have it right there. And I'm obsessed with this. Oh my god. I've been, rec I've been progressing on it for years. And... So let's look at the second one, The Bride Test. And I didn't even say that this is obviously the like uh, <laughs> Helen Huang series. I don't know what's the name of the series actually. Gosh, I normally don't like yellow, but it is growing on me. And so this is what it looks like on the front. And this is the back. I'm obsessed. They're so cute. They're so cute. That is actually so cute. I will die. My heart works in a different way, but it's yours. You're my one. Bro. And the fact, like, I know who this book is about, but again, I have not read it yet, and I obviously know them, and then the... I'm not ready to see the inside. Just the outside is like already so beautiful. Like, are you shitting me? Okay, let's see the- <gasps> Shut up. How is this even better? How is this even better? Bro, you're kidding- like, you're kidding me actually. Okay. This is the front. Super cute. I'm not ready to see the back. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Oh my god. This has like the roommate's trope, which you might know is my favorite thing on earth. I probably already, did I say it in this video? I'm not sure. And this is just like bringing back this book and how much I love it. I've been wanting to reread this whole series for everyone deserves to love and be loved back. Everyone. You can't really see it on this one because it is even in real per in even in real life it's really hard to read because it's like a really light background and a really light font, but this is like the cutest shit I've ever seen in my life. Um, what was I saying? I've been wanting to reread this series since for a thousand years. I the fact that I actually still remember it quite well says a lot. I read this. You know what? I said I would start talking about that when we see the last book so that's actually the first book where it all began but I absolutely love the color of this one. Oh my god I oh my fucking lord okay so that is the front of this one and ah! I think that's my oh I don't want to say that's my favorite because I love how cozy the other two are but this is so beautiful like when you love someone, you fight for them in every way you know how. Okay. I didn't expect all the other characters to be there. That is so cute and so domestic and beautiful. That is the front. Dude. Are you for real right now? Are we all seeing this? Okay, I don't give a fuck. That's my favorite. That is my favorite. I like you better than calculus, and math is the only thing that unites the universe. I'm gonna- okay, I'm, I'm impressed that I haven't cried yet, but, um, holy fucking shit. So, this is... All of them together, the most pleasing color scheme in the world, actually. And the one of the best series also in the world. That's really hard to hold up, but 
I, okay, so let's, let's, you know, um, talk about this now for a second. <laughs> the Kiss Quotient was one of the first adult romances that I ever read in my life. And I need to check later what was actually the date. I definitely have that on Goodreads. But years ago, like, I was, like, 17, 18? I don't know. And I absolutely loved it. It was just, you know, incredible, wonderful, perfect. I have not reread it since. And I still remember, again, the first two books really well because it just, like, stuck with me so much. I fell in love with the characters, the writing, everything about it. And I need to see just the experience of reading it now. And I have not read the last book just because I, I think I didn't want it to be over and I got really scared because people were saying that they didn't love it as much as the others and whatever, but I'm just like, I want to have my own opinion. Obviously, I'm going to read it because I love this series with my whole heart and I don't care if it's, the fact is like, I think it's going to be different than the others and like more um, heavy, but I think it's going to be just as beautiful and um, I want to experience it. So... I actually think I might read it in this edition. I know that a lot of people always say that, like, you know, they'll just keep it, they'll just keep the books on their shelves and, you know, all of that. And <laughs> obviously, in general, I don't really care that much about, like, keeping my books perfect. The one thing I don't do is breaking spines. I hate that. That's where I draw the line. But I kind of, you know, I got used to annotating and writing into books and it, de it depends on the book, but mostly it's fine. I would not write into these, but, um, and just like, if there's like a b corner that's bent or something like a mark on the cover, I'm just like, it gives the books life, you know? <laughs> and I don't want anything to happen to these. So if I do read them, I will read it at home and I'll make sure that nothing can get on them. But like, I'm just like, you know, obviously I'll keep them in the most, like, precious spot on my shelf somehow. Just, you know, I don't know how I need to figure that out. But I want to, like, see the books as much as possible. And I'm just like, I'm not going to take it off every single, like, ev off the shelf every single day just so I can admire it, you know? <laughs> and I'm just like, if I reread the copies, I'll just see it for hours on end. And I'll appreciate the beauty and how lovely it is, so... I cannot get over this. Like, I fucking cannot get over this. Like, holy shit. So, it is from the Afterlight um, box that oh, is, is owned by Illumicrate, but it's like a romance um, subcategory, and they have like a bi-monthly subscription. So, the way that I got these, actually, I put myself on a wait list, so unfortunately, they will not be available for sale ever again. But I'm sure you can buy it from other people, which it will probably be, like, insanely expensive. So I'm sorry about that. But if you ever want others, follow Illumuke or Afterlight on Instagram. And they always post on their stories, like, updates and things like that. So the way that I got this was I saw that they had a waitlist thing option. And so I put myself on there and I was able to get it. And same thing with the Afterlight subscription. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I finally got it. It was also really scary because I am low-key a little bit broke, but I was just like, I don't care. Like, it is absolutely worth it. And so I put myself on the wait list, like, two-ish months ago and it just opened and I could, like, um, subscribe, which means it is a bi-monthly subscription. So I was like, it means I pay, like, a half of the price, like, every month. And so I was just like, you know what? I can do that. And so I will have a book box coming, I think, at the end of September or the beginning of October. Just, you know, a reminder, if you can, invest in your joy <laughs> and happiness. I know it's not always possible, um, but if there's something that you've been wanting for ages, it is worth it to invest in it. I really need to go make myself lunch now, but I did make progress and I once again forgot the fucking title, even though I've been reading it for hours. So I picked up the Laura Pavlov book and I am so happy because even though it's not like a new favorite or anything, it's not going to be five stars. I think it's going to be like 3.5 to be honest, but I'm having such a great time with it because finally I am feeling just that urge that like I want to keep reading. Like last night at 11, I started it and I was just like, I want to keep reading it. And then I woke up and I kept reading it and I just miss that so much and I want to do that more. I really want to dive deeper into the Kindle Unlimited world. Because, like, I do read it consistently, but I just want to binge it, you know? I want to read a shit ton. And so we might read more in here. Um, and so I'm at, like, 70%. Um, really cute. Like, so sweet, wholesome, domestic. Love it. 
It um, is a little bit steamy, but not as much as I thought it would be. And I am really enjoying it. The only thing is, um, there is like a plot line that is with the heroes, like the mother of the hero's children, who is like out of the picture. Like there's a plot line of her trying to get, get custody. And I feel like I don't like how much it is there. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just wish it was mo more focused on the romance. And I just like, I do right now want just comforting sweet lovely vibes and <laughs> the book is very comforting sweet lovely and lighthearted. but then this plot line comes in and it's like a really big thing and what i do really like about this is that the hero actually is like communicating really well with the heroine and i was worried that there'd be like the plot line of you know like someone comes in and like trying to ruin everything and then one of the main characters freaks out and pushes the other one away without explaining anything and then the other one is just hurt and i hate that and that's not happened so far it still could i guess <laughs> but i really like that that has not been the case and i love the little girls um they're actually like quite a big part of the book so if you like that in single parent romances definitely check it out and yeah, so I'm having a good time with it. It's not like the perfect read, but it is really great and it's doing the job of what I wanted. So I do think I'm going to fly through the rest. And after that, I'm not sure. I <laughs> really wanted to pick up the long game, but now I'm like, maybe I want to finish the books that I started before. This video is definitely already so long and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. So I'll go make lunch. I do want to make brownies again today. I It was probably not in this video that I was it? I made brownies last week and I made brownies the week before that. <laughs> so the week before that was the first time I was baking brownies. It did not go great. The second time was amazing and now I'm just like I need that comfort and again I can't really go out to get food and so I'm just like you know what I'm gonna make it at home. Just one more time. This just made my whole week, whole month um, and yeah so I'll go eat and I'll see you soon. <laughs> so it is a lot later it is like midnight I took off my makeup and I'm in a bed and I have been doing some reading so we're gonna talk about it so I did finish Make You Mine by Laura Pavlov and none of my thoughts really changed um basically it all stayed the same um but I finished it it was really cute wholesome super quick to read super cute small town vibes very domestic. Again, the custody battle was like way too big of a part of the book. I felt like it really took away from the story and um, some of the things in the book were really repetitive. Like some of the writing and just like the way it developed. It was just like I really enjoyed the build up and the development of the romance and then after that things just kept being repetitive. So I definitely enjoyed the first half more than the second, but I still liked it. So I gave it 3.5 stars. I think it might just be three stars, but I did really like it. Like, I'm happy that I read it and it was cute. So um, yeah, let me know if there's any books that you would like to see me read that are on Kindle Unlimited or just tell me what your favorite books are or books that you really want to read on Kindle Unlimited because like there's just so much on there. <laughs> then I made progress in... I also forgot that title. Take a shot or something like that. And I am enjoying it a lot more now. So I'm also at like 70% now and I was baking the brownies earlier and I was listening to the audiobook while I was doing that and it like really picked up a lot. So the romance developed a lot more and it is just like so cute actually and I really like it. So our main character is the one who thinks like, you know, they absolutely hate each other and all that. And the love interest is like, uh, she basically likes her and she enjoys the banter that they have, which I think is super fun. And I just, they have really nice chemistry and there's a really strong connection between them. And it's really cute. So I do still think that the soccer is there super a lot, but if you like soccer, you absolutely need to pick up this book. 
Like, if you just generally like sports romance, this is YA. Really happy about that. And last thing that I've been doing is I started Mixed Signals by BK Borison. So obviously I do want to read the Elena Armas book super badly, but I was just like looking at all my options and this was just calling my name the most. And so I picked it up. I got to page um, 56 and it is so cute. I just felt like this was the book that I needed. Because, like, I am familiar with the stories, with the, like, B.K. Borson's writing and the whole small town that this whole series is in. And it just felt like something that, like, I knew what to expect going into it and the Elena Armas. I was just like, I am super excited about it, but I don't know what to expect. <laughs> and so I just really needed this kind of experience today. And I'm so happy that I picked it up because it's so cute so far. So obviously I haven't read that much, but... We have Layla and Caleb, and it is, again, set in the Love Light Farms, the small town that this whole series takes play place in. It is so cozy. It's definitely one of my favorite small town settings that it just feels so nice, and it just feels like home, and it's peaceful and lovely, and it's just great. This one has a really interesting premise. So we have a baker. And that is Layla. She is a baker and Caleb has been getting coffee from her for like years at this point. And he has a secret crush on her. And she basically is on this date that goes super badly, like the guy's an asshole. And Caleb is there just at this random bar and he drives her home. And along the way, he basically suggests that they should do they should start dating not in like a normal sense but he obviously thinks she's lovely and she uh is kind of sick and tired of dating and she's just like maybe i shouldn't because everyone just sucks and he's just like you deserve to be shown how to be treated right and at the same time he's like he says that he sucks at dating never makes it past the fourth date and he wants her to give him advice on how to be a better boyfriend basically <laughs> And so it's kind of like this, not exactly fake dating, but sort of fake dating situation. And I love it. Like, I love the two of them so much so far. And I can, like, really relate to a lot of both of them. And I'm just like, it really feels like the perfect book to read right now. Like, Layla is just struggling, again, with the shitty dating experiences. And everyone around her is coupled up. And she just feels really lonely and, you know, exhausted. And Caleb is, like, kind of insecure, but, like, really lovely and such a cinnamon roll. That is an amazing combination. And let's just say... <laughs> All of my closest friends have partners, and um, my love life is a shit show, so um, I just very much relate. So yeah, I will keep reading this. I do think I'll go to bed soon, but I'll pick this up in the morning, have a lovely, comforting morning, and um, I'll eat my brownies. It's going to be the best time. So I had a super intense therapy session earlier. And I've just been tired all day, so I didn't film any other updates. But um, I feel a little bit better. So, you know, I struggle a lot with letting myself feel negative emotions. You know, I think it honestly could be pretty clear with the books that I read. Like, <laughs> my whole thing of, like, you know, always reading just comforting books with happy endings and being terrified of books that are more intense and painful. Like, you know, it, it has a correlation. Obviously, like, not everything is that deep with reading, but for me, I think a lot of things are that deep. So, so I'm gonna shut up now, and I'm so happy I picked up this book. It really feels like exactly what I need. Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Show me there's nothing fake to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Show me there's nothing fake to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning
time for an update. I just got home from work and I think it's been like three days or so. So the main thing that I want to talk to you about is I finished this absolutely incredible beautiful book. But before I talk to you about that, I also got... I have three books that um, one of my friends at work let me borrow today. So I have three manga, so let's go through them. And I am so excited. So the first one I have here is Our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide uh, by Monet Sorai. I'm sorry if I said that. I probably completely fucked that up. That cover is so cute. And this is also such an interesting experience. Because I never talk about people in real life with about books, really. I have, like, one of my best friends, we kind of, like, we sort of talk about books, but not really because she's really busy and, like, it's definitely not the main thing we talk about. Like, it's quite rare, actually. I, I have online friends who read books, but we also actually don't, don't talk about it that much. So, um... <laughs> Uh, whatever. Either way, I never have anyone in person recommend me anything. And so these books are actually books that I've never heard of, like, online. But uh, he just, like, recommended these to me and brought them to me. Which is just, like, the best thing ever. It feels, like, very old school, amazing. Like, I love this so much. Love this cover. Don't know anything about it. But, like, we talked about kind of, like, my taste and what I want, what I like, and all of that. And so I feel like... Uh, this could, all these could be really good. So, um, from like the books that we've talked about that we both like, it sounded like we have pretty similar tastes. Um, this one is really calling my name, but this one, I think like this is what I need, like really bad. It's called Our Dining Table by Mita Ori. And like, how cute is this cover? Right now, I absolutely definitely need, um, comforting books. Anything that's like the cuter and the more like tender and sweet, the better. It looks like it might be like a single parent romance or something. Oh my gosh. The last one I have here is called Fourth Generation Head by Tatsuyuki Oyamato and Story and Art by Scarlett Barrico. So that looks like that. Let's just say like very, very different vibes. So <laughs> I think what I'm going to read first is this one. But either way, I am so excited. It's been a million years since I read a manga in a physical book. Let's talk about this book. So I have not been doing the best mentally. And I've been feeling like even um, more sensitive the past like week or so. So um, I have been in desperate need for books that just feel safe and this one absolutely like felt so safe, so beautiful. The romance was just so tender, sweet, lovely, and sexy, and everything I could ever fucking want. And I loved every second of this and to be honest, I actually, I think I mentioned that I thought like that I heard people say that this is their least favorite. And I think I actually only heard it in, like, when I looked at the reviews, that was just not the case at all. And so I think I maybe only heard, like, one person say it, but it wasn't even, like, it was still, like, a four-star for them. I think, I don't want to say that I, this is my favorite, but I feel like this one touched my heart in the deepest way. Because, again, it was just, it felt like exactly the perfect book that I needed in that moment. And... It meant everything to me. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I just want to hug this book and protect it at all costs. And it just meant everything to me. Like, I related to the main characters so much. And I felt like the things that they needed in the relationships or thing in the relationship is things that I need. <laughs> and I just felt so, like, seen and understood. And the book just felt like home. Like, together they felt like, you know they were at home together and it was just like so beautiful and the communication was amazing and the chemistry was amazing and everything about their love was so beautiful and I, and I recently read a book that I actually didn't talk did I talk about it in here now that I now that I think about it I think I talked about Georgie all along in this video as well because like whatever um it was for a different video but I think I talked about it in here if I didn't I recently read Georgie all along um <laughs> And this, like, gave me, uh, it was, like, different in a lot of ways, but it gave me the same feelings. 
and I could not be happier. I'm just like so grateful that books exist and so grateful that I can have something that feels safe and so beautiful and I just am very emotional. So this was perfect. I'm so happy that I read it. I will forever cherish it. I will read it a million more times again and I cannot wait for the next book. I feel like I have a lot of favorite authors and um, I feel like I love a lot of them like in many different ways. And BK Borison with this book, with this book absolutely made it clear that she's now like my ultimate go-to like comfort author. If I just want comfort and like cozy, beautiful, comforting vibes, she is the author to go to. I love all kinds of books, you know, like emotional books and intense but hopeful romance and then just like soft romance and then just like very sexy romance or whatever but this is just safe beautiful comforting lovely amazing and all the books feel that way this one like the most to me but all the whole series just feels like that and it is just the loveliest thing on earth so I don't actually know how much more I will read maybe I won't like I probably maybe won't finish anything else hi everyone so I'm just here to very quickly wrap up this video I have not finished anything else I have been reading a little bit but I think I'm gonna just talk about those books in the next vlog, I am so ready to like start making cozy autumnal videos. I'm so excited for that, but I actually have my sister and my mom visiting me right now. So I'm taking like a little vlogging break for like a week-ish. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope it's not super long, but if, if it is, thank you so much for watching all this way. And if you made it this far in the video, leave a moon emoji down below. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you soon in another video. Bye.